Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sayam Barak and in this video, we'll be going through Rancher Desktop 1.0. This video is brought to you by Suborbital, Armo, Robusta, Slim AI and Teleport. So make sure you check them out. So before moving to Rancher Desktop, let's discuss why it actually came in first place. So we all have uh, been using Docker or there are actually a couple of ways where you can, uh, you know, uh, run Kubernetes on uh, your desktop or locally. So you can use kind, but again, it uses Kubernetes in Docker. So you need Docker for that. You can use something which is called K3D. It is again a K3S, which is the minimal Kubernetes distribution in Docker. So you need Docker for that. You can use Docker desktop. So Docker desktop is a desktop application that you can install and uh, you can enable a Kubernetes over there and you'll be having a Kubernetes cluster for you for your local stuff that you want to do but it's not open source uh, it's closed source and it only supports single kubernetes version so there is not a single solution out there that provides you with multiple kubernetes versions to choose from uh, supports container d uh, runs smoothly on uh, mac windows linux and even m1 chips and it's open source so let's see how rancher desktop runs so Rancher Desktop uh, is a Kubernetes and container management on the desktop. So it's a desktop application that you can download from this particular website, rancherdesktop.io. It runs Kubernetes and uh, containers that you can run on your uh, desktop. Now, when you install Rancher Desktop, you will be having something which is called Nerd CTL. So without even having Docker, so even if I do not have Docker installed on my system, I can build push run the images locally and then use them on the kubernetes it provides multiple kubernetes versions to choose from so the download is very simple you can directly download from the website there's like a couple of features which are specific to windows like the port forwarding which will be available soon in mac and linux and you can build the containers using nerd cuttle i'll tell a bit more about nerd cuttle in a minute so this is the uh, kind of architecture as of 0 0.7 it started supporting mac m1 chips when it the project started initially it had kim instead of nerd ctl so kim was also kubernetes image manager now it has removed kim uh, completely from the 1.0 version and it only supports the utility which is nerd cuttle so it will be using lima lima is a linux virtual machines uh, for mac os kind of similar to WSL2 and it will be running container D or Docker D. You can actually choose between the runtime. So it is as of now 1.0, it supports both the runtimes. The Kubernetes will be K3S distribution. So K3S is a minimal Kubernetes distribution, uh, which is kind of around 50 MB binary. We have talked a lot about that. You can find a couple of videos on my YouTube channel as well. So that is how Rancher desktop is powered with respect to the utilities. So what is nerd cuttle or nerd ctl nerd ctl is a docker compatible cli for container d nerd ctl has all the basic commands that you are already used to like docker ps so there will be a nerd ctl ps uh, docker compose up so there will be a nerd ctl compose up so same ui ux as a docker so as you're used to with some of the additional things like the rootless mode is supported encryption of the images are there lazy pulling is there so you know your container starts even before pulling all the layers so that is lazy pulling a p2p image distribution using ipfs so ipfs is basically for distributed web uh, decentralization so you can actually put uh, your file and it can be downloaded by multiple nodes it's a complete protocol which is out there if you want me to discuss i can discuss that in a separate video and it also uh, supports container image signing using cosine so all these powerful features are there. So you can say like um, for container D, nerd CTL is there, which has a Docker like UI UX and it supports all those commands plus some additional features. So these are some of the commands which are not present as of now, which are not converted from Docker, like Docker attach CP or Docker image prune, Docker export. So all these commands are not yet supported in nerd cuttle. Now let's look at Docker desktop in action. So I already have downloaded uh, Docker for Mac. So this is the Rancher desktop application. So you have uh, some general settings so you can check for updates so that you can see the version is 1.0.0. So these are the Kubernetes settings. So you can select the Kubernetes version. So sometimes, you know, you 
would be wanting to have multiple versions or your application tested on multiple versions because of the API changes that keeps on breaking. So that is why in Docker desktop, you'll get only one version and you might not be able to test all the things that you want to do with other versions of Kubernetes. You can select easily select the memory and the CPU. You can select the container runtime, container D or Docker and the port on which this particular Kubernetes cluster will be running. Some of the supported utilities. So if you directly want to install Nerd Cuttle, you just check box, it will automatically install and configure Nerd CTL. These are the images that it will be downloading and it will show you that it has pulled. And for troubleshooting, you can see the logs. So let's see the cluster which is running. If I do kubectl get nodes, I've already switched my context to branch or desktop. So you can see again, it is using Lima. I already told you and my cluster is up and running with version 1.21.7. 1.21.7 and I can change the version. Let's say I change it to 1.23.2 and I'll click OK. So it is downloading Kubernetes and we'll upgrade that. So now if we check kubectl get nodes, we can see the version has been updated. So let's run a pod, kubectl run, image, the next. And the pod is running. So just want to quickly show you about nerd CTL as well. So if I type nerd cuttle, so these are the set of commands which are there. So it will have all the basic commands which are there like build, ps, run, kill, exec, and all the basic commands with additional one uh, that are there for like uh, IPFS and stuff like that. So let's try to run. So before that, I quickly want to show you like I do not have Docker running on the system. So let's try to run an image using a nerd CTL. So nerd CTL run, hyphen IT, fine. And I'm inside the image. I'll exit nerd CTL PS hyphen A. It shows me that the container was created and it was exited. If I want to run an additional container for outside, I can do nerd CTL run one of my images. So the container is up, we can do nerd CTL PS and we can see the container is up and running. So it kind of does all the uh, basic Docker commands that we just discussed. We can actually do an alias of Docker to nerd CTL if you're used to typing Docker, so you can directly type Docker PS, but behind the scenes, it will be running nerd control. So I think that's pretty cool. You can actually uh, build your images, run your images on a Kubernetes cluster without even having Docker, Docker desktop on your entire system. So I think it can be your complete replacement if you want for your local development of Kubernetes and images if you want to run. That is how Docker desktop runs with respect to all the toolings that it is having. It uses Lima and K3S on macOS and is able to run on Apple M1 Silicon and Mac, Linux, Windows. And it has, uh, it is using dirt cuttle. So that's pretty much it that I have for this particular video. So go download branch or desktop and try. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's using dirt cuttle and it's using some of the uh, open source other projects as well, like Lima. Uh, so you, uh, if you want, I can make separate video on dirt cuttle to show its powers with IPFS. So thanks to all the members, uh, Suborbital, Armor, Robusta, Slimia, and Teleport. Once again, make sure you check them out. Links are in the description. And I hope you like the video. Please give a like and try out Rancher Desktop. Give a shout out that you tried Rancher Desktop and how and what you are running on the systems uh, and how you're building the images. Keep sharing, keep spreading the love, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you all. See you in the next one.